A man walks into a bar and orders a shot. Then he looks into his shirt pocket and orders another one. After he finishes, he looks into his pocket again and orders another shot. The bartender is curious and asks the man why he looks into his pocket before ordering each shot. The man replies, I have a picture of my wife in my pocket, and when she starts to look good, I go home. A drunk guy is sitting at a bar by himself one night and throws up all over the front of his shirt. Oh, great. My wife is going to kill me, he mumbles to himself. The guy sitting next to him sees what has happened and leans over towards him. Hey, buddy, just put a $20 bill in your shirt pocket, and when you get home, tell your wife the guy sitting next to you threw up on you and he gave you $20 to get your shirt cleaned. Completely inebriated, the drunk man thanks his new friend and puts a 20 in his shirt pocket and heads for home. As soon as he walks through the front door, his wife becomes irate and starts yelling at him. Where have you been? You're completely drunk and you're a mess. Look at yourself, you puked all over the front of your shirt. Completely wasted and slurring his words. He explains to the wife. No, no, the guy sitting next to me threw up on my shirt and he gave me $20 to get it cleaned. Look, it's right here in my shirt pocket. The wife reaches into his pocket and pulls out the money. There's $40 in here. Oh yeah, he sh pants too. There are three women. One is dating, one is engaged, and one is married. They decide to get kinky with their men and really pull out all the stops to make it extra special. The woman who is dating says, Okay, so I bought black leather, red lipstick, fishnet stockings, and really got crazy. He loved it so much, he thinks he's in love. The woman who is engaged says, I showed up to his work after hours wearing only a red coat. Let's just say he wants to move the wedding date up. The woman who is married says, Okay, I really went all out. I got a babysitter for the kids and bought a black mask and a whip. My husband gets home, goes straight to the fridge and grabs a beer. Then he plops down on the couch and says, Hey, Batman, where the f***er? A drunk man comes home. His wife immediately starts nagging, calling him a damned alcoholic who only thinks about whiskey. The husband reaches into his pocket, pulls out a piece of paper and says, Stop, I've brought a test. Let's see how cultured you are. The wife responds, Well, let's see, read it. All right. The first question, name two types of foreign currency. Well, at least the euro and the mark. Okay, next, name two types of contraceptives. I can name ten right away. I believe you. The third question, name two rivers in Iceland. Are you silent? I knew it. Apart from money and s no interests. A man is sitting in a boat near the shore, fishing. In one hand, he holds a fishing rod, and in the other, a brick. A girl who is resting nearby walks by and asks why he needs the brick. The man replies, If you will let me sc I'll tell you. The girl turned away and left. After some time, she comes back and asks again. The same scene, and this happens three times. On the fourth time, she couldn't resist and agreed. After the act, she says, Well, tell me, man. What's so hard to understand? I can't catch anything on the fishing rod today, but the brick already caught the third one. Grandpa asked his wife, Listen, when I die, how will you bury me? You're so frugal. Everything seems expensive to you. And you can't take the money with you to the grave. The grandma replied, I'm not that frugal. I'll bury you like an oligarch. I'll order an expensive suit have the priest sing in the church, everything will be just like other people do. The grandpa decided to test his wife. A week after their conversation, he pretended to be dead. The grandma dressed him in a tracksuit, a t-shirt, and sneakers, then put him in the coffin and cried out, Why did you leave me? Where are you going? The grandpa sat up, climbed out of the coffin, and said, To a soccer game! A fighter pilot is retiring. 
His wife nags him. You promised for twenty years to take me for a ride in the fighter jet. You promised... Duh! The man gets fed up, goes to the squadron commander and says, Commander, I have a problem. She's driving me crazy. Take her for a ride. The commander answers that she's a war buddy, has given birth to kids, makes cutlets, etc., so he gives him fuel for two hours and a flight path. Go ahead. They get in the plane, and for two hours the pilot performs all the advanced aerobatics. When landing, he asks for an ambulance to be brought to the runway. They unload his wife from the cabin, all vomited, well like a bag of shit. The pilot husband leans over her and tenderly says, So, shall we have now or go to the theatre? Trolleybus. Everyone is pressed tightly against each other, so much so that it's intimate. There's a tall guy, a girl, about 20 years old, and an old lady, about 80. The guy keeps winking at the girl and tries to get closer to her, after which the girl suddenly exclaims, Pervert! The whole bus looks at the trio, and a grave silence reigns. The guy says, What are you yelling about? You've been fondling my balls for at least five minutes now, and still yelling. The girl says, I haven't even touched your balls. The old lady says, Why are you staring at me like that? I just wanted you to get married. Gynecologist examines his patient in the chair. His colleague walks in and asks, Tell me, where did you buy that great cognac yesterday? The gynecologist, without stopping his work, says, First, you go out to the avenue, then immediately turn right, then at the second intersection turn left, bump into the flower bed, then go around it. Then a muffled groan is heard. The gynecologist looks up at the patient. Are you feeling unwell? Huh? No, please, go around the flower bed one more time. An apple, a banana, and a... He has got into an argument one day. The apple says sadly, I have the worst life ever. People take one bite of me and throw me on the ground. The banana says, you think that's bad. People take off my clothes, eat my insides and leave my clothes on the floor. The pe You guys have it easy. You try having people sticking you in dark, wet caves, putting bags over your head, messaging you for hours and making you do push-ups until you throw up. A man wakes up in the hospital, bandaged from head to foot. The doctor comes in and says, Ah, I see you've regained consciousness. Now, you probably won't remember, but you were in a pile up on the freeway. You're going to be okay. You'll walk again and everything. But something happened. I'm trying to break this gently, but the fact is, you're chopped off in the wreck, and we were unable to find it. The man groans. But the doctor goes on, You've got $9,000 in insurance compensation coming to you, and we have the technology now to build you a new p will work as well as your old one did. Better, in fact. But the thing is, it doesn't come cheap. It's $1,000 an inch. The man perks up at this. So, the doctor says, It's for you to decide how many inches you want but it's something you'd better discuss with your wife. I mean, if you had a 5-inch one before, and you decide to go for a 9-incher, she might be a bit put out. But if you had a 9-inch one before, and you decide only to invest in a 5-incher this time, she might be disappointed. So it's important that she plays a role in helping you make the decision. The man agrees to talk with his wife. The doctor comes back the next day. So, says the doctor, have you spoken with your wife? I have, says the man. And has she helped you in making the decision? Asked the doctor. She has, says the man. And what is it? Asks the doctor. We're getting a new kitchen. A woman and her lover were having fun in bed when suddenly the front door opened. The woman's husband appeared at the doorway and immediately asked her, Did you touch my food with your hands? No, I didn't, she replied. 
the husband silently went to the kitchen, served himself some soup, heated it up, and started eating. The lover started feeling uncomfortable, so he got out of bed, approached the husband, and asked, Are you really not bothered by the fact that I'm sleeping with your wife? Your horns have grown all the way to the ceiling. The husband replied, So what? It's better with horns. This fool has been trying to cure herself of syphilis for three months now, and still can't. A drunk man is swaying, barely able to stand. He sees a bear running towards him at high speed. The man yells at the bear, I will kill you! The bear knocks the man to the ground. The man struggles to get up, and just as he stands, he sees a wolf running at him full force. The man yells again, I will kill you! The wolf also knocks him down. The man gets up once more, and this time he sees a fox running towards him. The man yells, I will f kill you. The fox knocks him down as well. With great effort, the man stands up again, and now he sees a rabbit running towards him. Another man approaches and says, Hey, buddy, get away from the carousel. A man goes on vacation to Spain with his wife. In the evening, he goes to a bar, and when he returns, his wife is not in the room. He looks out into the corridor, sees the bellboy, and asks, Where's my wife? Your wife went to Don Pedro. What Don Pedro? Where does he live? What room? I'll tear his head off. The bellboy shows the man, Don Pedro's room. The man sneaks into the room quietly, stands in the doorway, and sees this scene. A gorgeous, tanned, slim Don Pedro lying on a luxurious, huge bed, and his wife, old, ugly, disheveled hair, protruding belly, sagging And the man thinks, oh my God, how embarrassing in front of Don Pedro. A luxurious convertible is driving through the city, and an amazing girl is behind the wheel. The car breaks down, she gets out, kicks the tire, wipes the windshield, but it doesn't help. There's an Arabic man nearby, and she says to him, Fix my car, I'll give you money. He replies, Girl, I don't need anything, I have everything. She says, But I need to go, I have nothing else to give you, do you want to have me? He looks at her, she's beautiful, so he fixes her car and sleeps with her. She really liked it. She says, I've never experienced anything like this in my life. Come with me to Switzerland. I'll give you as much money as you want, and I'll give you a sports car. He replies, Girl, I don't need anything. I have everything. It's better to ask my friend Gogi. He's even better than me. She asks, What could be better than you? He says, Last year he had she-bear, and she's still bringing him raspberries from the forest. A ship picked up a man from an island where he had spent many years in solitude. They brought him on board, skinny and frail, and started taking care of him. The captain was the first to ask, You must be hungry, right? The man replied, Oh yes, I haven't eaten anything but coconuts and bananas for many years. They brought the unfortunate man, the best dishes available on the ship. The captain then asked, Would you like something to drink? The man replied, Oh yes, I won't refuse. They poured him a drink. The captain then asked, Would you like a cigar? The man didn't refuse. The captain then said, I bet you wouldn't refuse a woman either. We have a cook on board. She's a bit big, but a great gal. Go to the cabin. She's waiting for you there. The man went down to the cabin and saw the cook, naked on the bed in a kneeling position. She was, so to speak, in all her glory. He then kicked her hard in the backside. The cook exclaimed, Have you gone mad on your island? What was that for? The man replied, Just checking if there were bees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.